Honey strong, honey strong. What's that word, family? Hey, man. Check this out. New details after a 17-year-old beats and stabs his mother in an argument over chores, allegedly. This is Tobias Brewer. Last month, Brevard County deputies say Brewer led them on a high-speed chase when he crashed and ran out of his car. Brewer was later caught by deputies after a search in the woods. Now we're learning more about the attack before the chase. According to a police report, Brewer told investigators he was upset his mother was constantly on his case. That's a quote about cleaning his room. The new documents say police got a call from the mother of one of Tobias's friends stating the boy told her Toby killed his mother. Well, Coco police say Brewer's mother was covered in blood with multiple stab wounds when they found her butt alive. She was airlifted to the hospital and listed in critical but stable condition. During questioning, Tobias admitted to stabbing his mother multiple times with a knife that he carries around, the affidavit states. He also admitted to striking his mother in the head with a frying pan until the handle broke. Brewer faces charges of attempted first-degree murder, grand theft of a motor vehicle, and fleeing and eluding. Well, family, what do y'all think about that? 17-year-old boy, Tobias Brewer, was arrested for first-degree attempted murder of his mama. Shut your mouth, right? Of his mama. Shut your mother effing mouth. All right, man, here's the situation. America is at a critical point when it comes to mental health, All right? Something else is going on in that boy's head, you know, that made him try to kill his mom. I just heard another horrible story of a young man trying to kill his mom. Well, he actually killed his mom. And this is another young man that tried to kill his mom. So let's just think about it. Let's think about it. I'm pretty sure his mom never did nothing to him, especially in this day and age, that parents can't get away with doing nothing to kids, right? Holla if you hear me. Holla if you hear me. I'm pretty sure his mom didn't do nothing to him. She did not deserve this from a child. He said he stabbed his mom multiple times and he hit her also. He hit her across the head with a frying pan until the handle broke, ladies and gentlemen. Until the handle broke on the frying pan. These kids nowadays, without ass whoopers, you ain't putting no fear in the hearts of these kids. I hate to say it, but even the teachers, when they spanked the kids, it was the same way. They got their respect. They was feared. He's going to give me a lash. He's going to give me a spanking. That put people in line right there. Without that, and the, the rest of the fundamentals, we got a young man out here that's going insane, that's doing this type of stuff. One young man even went as far as to kill his mom and to sexually assault her dead corpse. All right. And that was another sad story. I just didn't want to talk about that when I didn't want to have anything to do with it. But this one came across. I was like, man, I got to talk about the mental illness in the community with these kids, man. What's going on with these kids? And I'm not going to even lie to you. It does seem like video games, you know, Fortnite and all of that type of stuff. It seems like these kids may be living through these games, trying to live them out loud, live them in real life because... When I look at situations like this, it's hard for me to fathom. I just can't think of a rational thought to go with this story. I can't think of nothing, you know. So it got to be something that's that's out the ordinary. It got to be the video games, right? All right, uh, tell me how y'all feel about this story in the comments section, ladies and gentlemen. Are you inferior, kids? 
and not, and when you look at our community in the black community, we got kids with two, three bodies laying on your couch, young kids, 14, 15, off for of drugs. Not all of us, but some of us, enough of us to have a reaction to say it's a lot of us. But tell me how y'all feel about this particular story in the comment section. I'll be back later with more news and commentary. It's your homeboy, Low from the Go. Peace.